Welcome back to Brands Hatch Race 2 of the weekend from the Dunlop Radical UK Cup and the pits are abuzz. The pit window is open. Zach Chapman, one of the drivers, taking early pit stop as Chris Harris comes into the pits. The fastest man in the world, Andy Green, about to take over. Andy racing this weekend as part of his training for the Bloodhound SSC project, which is aiming to achieve a new land speed record of 1,000 miles an hour. That's where he's running with 1,000 on the car as Nick Padmore comes in and Phil Abbott about to take over him. Again, a really good shot here, giving you an insight into the workings of Radical Pit Stop. Andy Cummings about to rejoin as Andy Green does take to the circuits. Let's see how Andy gets on. Cliff Butler also into the action. Andy Cummings gets the thumbs up. He rejoins the race as we go down to the pits. And Lucia, who's with Ross Kaiser. So Ross, you lost a place out there, didn't you, to Manhau? What happened? Uh, just a bit tricky at the start. Man Manhau and I both kind of got a good jump. Uh, Manhau had somewhere to go on the outside and I was kind of stuck really. So um, just nowhere to go. And then Manhau managed to hang on to it into third. So I dropped to fourth. And then uh, a tricky stint really because it's quite hard to place the pass around brands. And obviously if I started battling with Manhau too much, we'd slow each other down and then drop away from the others. And I could see he didn't have too bad a pace to Stuart and the other guys. It was just kind of manage the car and try and bring it home in, in good shape for Terence to crack on now. And how did the changeover go? Uh, pretty good, yeah, it did everything in time. We get quite a lengthy stop, so we've got enough time to do the belts, get it fired up, so a uh, good stop, I think. I tried to stay with the quicker guys ahead of me, but I just couldn't do it, and then just sort of settled into a sort of 47s pace. Look, it's furiously competitive at the front. They're all very good at it. Uh, I'd need a bit more time, I think, to get down there, if, if indeed I could. So, yeah, it was clean, but a little bit lonely, but it's just relentless. There's nowhere to take a break round here. But still enjoying racing in a radical? Oh, it's mega. It's fantastic fun, it's hard work, but um, I got in some good laps, so really pleased with how we went. Brilliant, and how did the driver change over with Max go? That was fine, the driver change went uh, went well. I um, About two laps before I came in, I managed to sort of straight line surtees and did a bit of grass cutting. So we had to clean the front of the car, but um, it seemed to go okay. I think we just need to practice starting the car because he struggled with that. But um, hopefully he'll bring it home and it'll be a good day. But you've enjoyed your first weekend with Radical? It's fantastic. It's really good fun. Very different cars to what I've driven in the past in terms of the Porsche or the Ginetta. But um, just need to spend a bit more time practicing and I'm sure we'll have some good times. It'll be great. Pit stop's done and Andy Green out on track where he's just getting a little bit of experience what some of the aerodynamic grip feels like as part of his training for the Bloodhound SSC project and we all wish Andy the very very best of luck and every success in making that come to fruition it really is a very an exciting and ambitious British engineering program so Andy Green continues on his way around the track as Manhals has after the pit stops assumed the lead of the race and this is what we thought would happen with Alos able to stay in touch he's had a slightly shorter pit stop and that has brought him out at the head of the field and actually with a reasonably comfortable advantage, you'd have to say. So Alos leads it, and he's under no immediate pressure. This is the fight then for second place between Zach Chapman and James Abbott, with then also Mark Smithson charging hard in fourth position, and Victor Carrera a little bit further back down the road. We haven't seen Victor yet, but he is absolutely flying just out of shot. So Mark Smithson, having taken over from the early race leader, Stuart Mosley, going strongly. There's Malhaus coming through shot. Colin Noble is who leads the SR3 class. And here comes Mal for second place. And Zach Chapman all over the tail of James Abbott. And is he going to make the move into Palakil Bend? Yes, he does. That's a really good move there from Zach Chapman. He used the car of Gary Kane as well just to slightly box in James. And then still struggles to get past Gary himself as they climb up towards Druids. The sun glinting off the fantastic silver stickers on... Zach Chapman's car, a very distinctive livery, very good looking livery. So he's in second place. He now puts that lap over Gary Kane. His next target is Phil Abbott, who again running in SR3s, these big V8 SR8s over such a short lap will be lapping them over the course of the race. And sliding rear of the car is Mark Smith, and he's very anxious to get involved in this battle as well. James Abbott able to find his way past Gary Kane and sliding up the inside of Phil Abbott is Zach Chapman really over this lap through the traffic James has just slightly lost a little bit of touch with Zach Chapman who having made that move has been able to pull ever so slightly clear 
what is the very close map there's so much traffic on the circuit such a popular championship this they really can't go more than a couple of corners without encountering another car it's very tricky for the drivers because they're all having their own battle they're also all trying to work up through the order Andy Green though has been able to find himself a little bit of clear air as he continues to get acquainted with the Radical SR3 it's been going faster and faster all weekend and that is continuing through this race wonderful shot as well into through his vise the concentration Andy showed now this is the man on the move Victor Crer he's absolutely charging he puts a lap on the SR3 class leader Colin Noble but Correa he was second before the pit stops having a longer pit stop as a higher graded driver he's come out with some work to do and he really is getting on with his shift Colin Noble just correcting the car on the way out of Druids down towards Graham Hill Bend he's in pursuit of Andy Cummings coming just to put a lap on Andy as well so plenty of action throughout this field it is very very close Andy Green going a lap down then to Manhal Alos who powers past him on the way up to Druids and Alos well talking to him before the race he was really keen to put in a good performance and he has built a fairly chunky advantage over Zach Chapman in second and here's Victor Prayer in fourth position really now on the tail of James Abbott fighting wheel through Pallet Hill Bend and are we going to see Victor Greer racing his way up onto the podium because he's latched himself very, very quickly onto the tail of James Abbott. They come out of Druids, down towards Graham Hill Bend. And Greer closing the gap down to absolutely nothing. Now, where will he make the move? He slides the car out of Graham Hill Bend, so he can't do it on the run towards Surtis. Don't think. Instead, he'll look to get a good run through clearways and then take advantage of the slipstream and the longer run down the Brabham Strait to possibly challenge into Paddock Hill Bend. He takes the apex perfectly through clearways. Builds up momentum, but James Abbott is a quick driver as well, and he's not going to be an easy man to pass as they surge along straight now. Both go past Mark Smithson, and that's Correa's opening, is it, to slide up the inside? No, not quite. He couldn't quite do it. And they climb then up the hill towards Druids. In front of the car just sliding slightly as Correa stamps on the brakes. So again, he has to build up for another couple of corners to make that move on James Abbott and this is the, the beauty of such a short lap here at Brands you can really see the tactical working to the drivers particularly with these in-car shots about how long it takes them to set up an overtaking move and really Victor Crayer is spending a whole lap building up to this moment now which is getting the perfect run through clearways to then challenge another 500 metres further on the circuit in Paddock Hill Bend so out of Clark Curve Long Bram straight in car with Victor Crayer and James Abbott has really been able to pull out a slight advantage here. This is going to have to be very bold from the brakes. From Crary, he's very brave. He launches up the inside. Through he goes into third place. A, la a move that was three or so laps in the making on James Abbott. Finally completed. He then has to make sure he covers the inside line at Druids. Lest James be able to immediately snatch that position back from him. As he turns through Graham Hill Bend. Now what can he do about Zach Chapman as Manhalalos though? has been an imperious form in this race. He has absolutely dominated the second half. He accelerates then out of Clark Curve for the final time. The checkered flag goes out and it's the win for Manhalalos. A super performance from him. And Victor Correa, we're in car with him and he's moved up into second place ahead of Zach Chapman. So Correa's storming drive is going to net him second position because there's Zach Chapman in third, which he's just going to hold from James Abbott as they flash across the line at the end of what was a thrilling battle entertaining the crowds here at Brands Hatch you give Manhalalos a very well deserved round of applause on his way back to part Ferme over the line comes Terence Woodward and Andy Green well done to Andy it's been a really strong performance from him this weekend as Colin Noble claims the SR3 class victory after a very strong performance so let's take a check then at the final classification with the win for Manhalalos from Victor Crayer and Zach Chapman. In the SL threes, it was Colin Noble who won it from Gary Kane and Tom Ashton with Phil Abbott and Nick Padmore completing the podium. Delighted Manhalas then gets the bubbly on the top step of the rostrum. So Manhal, you said you were going to win this and you did. How did you do it? Well, I just uh, kept a very level head. I uh, tried to keep a distance between the two boys who were much faster than me at the start. I had a pit stop advantage on them and I just kept it steady, knew if I do this, then Lady Luck will, uh, will come to me today. So do you think you were a little bit psychic? You predicted that you were going to win? <laughs> I knew that with my pace, I should win. 
if I can get a good start. Yesterday I had a very, uh, very unfortunate start, but today I had a good start and that's it, yeah. At the beginning, um, I had a good start and just keep it the second position. It was nice. And the pit lane stop, I had a 20 second penalty, so it was difficult to, to get, catch it, it back, you know. But I was managed to, to get back to second place, so that was good. Was the, the worst part was catching speed again after the pit lane stop, you know. It was a good race for us. It was a tough race doing it on our own, and we struggled in the first stint a bit with the tyres not coming up to temperature, but managed to get past James into third in the second stint, which was good. And um, What was the most tricky part of it for you? I think the trickiest part was just managing the tyres towards the end of the first stint and then knowing that we had to really push hard at the beginning of the second stint. And it's really hard following cars because there's so much aero and radicals, obviously, it's hard to follow them around here. So I had to get past James and I used a bit of traffic to get past him into paddock, so that was pretty tricky. Just two points then separate Terence Woods and Ross Kaiser from Zach Chapman at the top of the championship standings with then in the Masters class. It's those two with Tony Wells in third position. And then in Super Sports, Gary Kane leads the way from Colin Noble. It's been an exciting weekend of radical UK Cup racing. We hope that you've enjoyed it and we'll see you again next time.